So I spent 90 days turning a prototype into a game, or at least what I consider to be, or hope will be, the start of something pretty good. And in this devlog I'm going to show you what I've achieved in the last three months or so. So all the artwork in the game I've made from scratch using the built-in pixel editor in Construct. So I've got the cinema here with the animations. So this is level one. I've got uh, a kind of pub, which I've drawn quite crudely, and uh, a cinema, and a parking garage, or garage, and then an exit at the back of the street, which goes to the park. So I want to add a, a currency. So I've got a way for you to obtain money, uh, for example, bashing in these little parking meters. Um, I've got interactive maps, uh, I want to add vehicles that you can actually use. Uh, I'm going to have weapons in the game, but I don't know if I'm going to keep them as guns. I may change it to something a little bit more uh, PG-13, maybe a slingshot or something, some kind of projectile. So the way I've stacked out my layouts is I've got my menu, uh, level wipe animation. Uh, this will just kind of drop in and uh, that will be used to transition between the layouts. The menu, which is by no means finished, it's just something I've put together with a working title, um, a run, punch and kick game, and then level two, which is the park level. And at the end of the park level, you'll have a boss fight or a mini boss here, which I think might be like a park ranger. And your goal here is to get to the train station to board the train because you're going to need to take the train across the bridge. And then the big city will be a sequence of new levels, again, fighting different and more interesting foes. So all the levels, all the levels one, two and three, they're all going to run off of one central event sheet, which I've grouped up quite nicely. And this is generic um, events and actions that will be relevant to all the levels in the game. So things like how to start the level, the heads up display. So for example, on the start, what to do with the functions, setting the map invisible, setting the Z order of where the individual objects are so they don't overlap each other. The it, This will house all of the code for all the different bad guys in the game. Um, at the moment there's only one uh, which is on the first level and then everything from weapons, scoring, bullet collisions, basically a group that handles everything, even a group that handles the squirrel, even though there's only going to be one squirrel which is on level two and that's just going to be an AI character that follows you around that you have an opportunity to interact with if you figure it out in the level and I've got one event sheet specifically just for the boss uh, and he's a little bit more complicated because uh, he's going to have all his individual states as well. I've given him a nice um, fog exponential effect uh, and I've set the fog color to red so when we enable it he goes a kind of a pinky color all over it basically gives him like a, a red mask a big swipe of his cane at you with a nice big wind up so you can see it coming I have an opportunity to dodge it and that's that's pretty much where I'm at with the whole thing really I really like to get to the end and actually finish a project so hopefully I'll be able to get some time put into this one and, and get all kind of seven eight levels done but there we go that's it thanks for stopping by and if you made it this far um, thanks very much for the watch time and if you like what I do and you want to support my work, then uh, consider joining the Patreon. Uh, there's a whole ton of benefits involved with that. You can click the link in the description to find out more. And speaking of Patreons, I'd like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to my fantastic Patreon community, FoozleCC, Retro Galaxy, Olivia Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmar Games, Just Matt, Tor, Hammock Alexanderson, Rob, Martin K, Julian Cruz, Ralson Gonzalo, 8-Bit Gamer, Davey Wagnerock, John Allegreza, and James Kurzweil.